Hello everybody, it's Harish here from Enterprise DNA. In the previous video, we saw how to calculate the percentages in a hierarchical form. In this video, we will go one step further in the calculation of hierarchies. Today, we will see how to calculate the ranking in a hierarchical form, which is a little bit more complex subject in comparison to the concept which we witnessed in our last video. In the past, we have already showcased about how to calculate the ranking over a specific one set of data, that is, ranking of a particular set of products either in the form of product category or subcategory or in the case of regions, it is either in the form of cities, territories, or countries. But today, we'll learn how to calculate it when all the different sets of fields are being combined together in a single set of hierarchy. So now, let's head over to the Power BI and see how it is being done. In this scenario, we have created a set of hierarchy where the first level of hierarchy is in the form of territories. Second level is in the form of customers. And third level is in the form of product names. You might wonder what's the logic behind in order to create this type of hierarchy. The thing is, we need to find out how we are performing at each and every territorial level. And then inside each territory, we want to find out who are our best performing customers. And finally, we want to find out what are the best products our customers like to purchase in their respective territories over a period of time. So while we have already defined our scenario, Let's proceed with our creation of measure step by step. First, we will start with the wrong approach in order to understand why the conventional way of calculating the ranking by simply making use of rank x function will not yield the correct results. And what are the errors we see and then based on all the shortcomings, we will write the correct measure in order to evaluate the results for each and every level of hierarchy in a right manner. So let's first create a measure based on simple rank x function. In order to save time, I have copied and pasted the measure. In the measure, we have created three variables for each of the hierarchy using the simple rank x function and then as we learned in our previous video we made a usage of is in scope function since we are dealing with hierarchies so let's load this measure and check out the results as we can see onto our screen that a territory with the highest total sales is being ranked first the territory with the lowest total sales is being ranked last. So, so far, we are getting the correct results. Now, if we click onto a plus sign and expand any of our territory in order to see how our customers are getting evaluated. So, let's see the results of our customers. And now, if we see our customers with the highest total sales is being ranked first under that particular territory. Let's scroll down and see whether they are getting evaluated correctly or not. So, so far, we can see that they are getting evaluated correctly. Finally, we can check our results for the products in order to see whether they are also getting correctly evaluated or not. So, let's click on the plus sign for any of our customers. So as we can see, our product with the highest sales 
for that particular customer under that particular territory is getting ranked first and so on and so forth. Yes, we have observed that the customers as well as the products which doesn't contain any sales value are still getting ranked. But that's not the main concern here. It is the concern, but not an important one. We can stop evaluating those rankings by using the is blank function. But the important thing is, we still haven't been able to prove why this measure is considered as wrong in the first instance itself. Let's drill up all the way and then expand all our hierarchies rather than clicking on to each and every plus button individually. So now when we click on to our drill down button, we can still see that our first territory and our customers for that particular territory are still getting evaluated correctly. Let's scroll down little bit and see how our next territory is getting evaluated. And now if we see, we have a problem here. Earlier, our Queensland territory was getting ranked as second. But since we clicked on to a drill down button, now it is getting evaluated as third. Let's see how our products are getting evaluated when we further click onto a drill down button. And as we observe our New South Wales territory, which was getting ranked as first in the earlier scenarios, is now getting ranked as second. And the state limited, which is our customer, which was earlier getting ranked as first, is now also getting ranked as second. So now we are starting to see a problem here when we click on to a drill down button. So why this is actually happening? When we clicked on to the plus sign individually, it was evaluating the results correctly. But when we started to expand all the levels, at the same time, we started to get the incorrect results. The reason being is, when we click on to the plus sign, we are just simply sneaking it under the hood by still staying at the top level of hierarchy. Technically, we haven't drilled down into the next level. Drilling down actually means that we move down from first level to the next level at the same time. When we click on to the double pointer arrow, we are actually moving down to the next layer. And therefore, that's the time when actual context transition takes place. And that's why we cannot use conventional method of ranking in the case of hierarchies. So now, let's see how we can solve all these shortcomings step by step by creating the right ranking measure. So let's go ahead and create that measure. We will name our measure as ranking right measure. We will create three variables for calculating the ranking for their respective hierarchies. We will name our first variable is territory ranking. So inside this variable, the first process is to create a virtual table using the summarize function. So let's call out that function. And since territories are coming from the regions table, we'll reference the regions table. Territory. Once we have created our virtual table, then inside this, we need to create a virtual column which will help us to evaluate the ranking for that particular hierarchy. In this case, it's territory. And therefore, we will make use of the add columns function. We will name our virtual column 
as territory ranking and now we will write the same conventional ranking formula rank x all regions table referencing the regions territory field total sales and now we want to rank our highest sales as first and the lowest sales as last and finally we will convert this virtual table into a scalar value by wrapping up inside the sumx function and we will call out the virtual column which we have created so now we will implement the exact same technique for the other two variables as well that is customer ranking as well as the products ranking and lastly we will make usage of is in scope function and call out each of our variable against that particular level of hierarchy so let's go ahead and create our remaining two sets of variables so now while we have already created our all the sets of variables for each of the level of hierarchy and we have placed each of the variable against that particular field using the is in scope function so let's load our formula and check out the results let's bring the measure into our matrix visual let's expand a little bit and so far as we can see that ranking at a territory level is getting evaluated correctly let's drill down further and check our customer ranking so so far our new south wales territory is getting evaluated correctly so as our customers let's scroll down little bit to see how this time around our queensland territory is getting ranked so as you can see our queensland territory is now getting ranked correctly let's drill down further into our products level and see how they are getting evaluated so as we can see that last time around our new south wales territory as well as our customers were not getting evaluated correctly and they were losing their rankings but now in the new formula we can observe that our territory as well as the customer they are able to retain their rankings let's scroll down a little bit and see how our second customer is getting evaluated and our third so so far we are seeing that we are getting the right results but the only thing is we are still not able to get rid of our ranking against the blanks so now to get rid of blanks we will have to replace the reference of the respective dimension table names with that of the sales table name the reason being is sales table has a lineage with each of these dimension tables so for example if sales hasn't taken place for a particular product against a particular customer in that particular territory then by default ranking will not be evaluated against that particular data point so let's go ahead and replace our reference of dimension tables with that of sales table and check our results for the one final time and while now we have already changed the reference to the sales table name let's check out the results and so now we see that our ranking is now only limited to a data point where we have a sales value let's scroll down a little bit so we see that our ranking 
is now getting evaluated correctly as per our expectations finally before we sign off here is an important note if you would like to see your ranking change based on the selection made into the slicer that is slicer created based on the fields which we have used in our hierarchy then instead of using all function you can make use of all selected function while evaluating the rankings i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching hey everyone thanks for tuning in to enterprise dna tv if you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial please throw the video a like it really helps us and we really appreciate it also don't forget to subscribe to the enterprise dna tv channel uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use power bi and the power platform lastly check out enterprise dna's website plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily all the best take care